Hello boys and girls, I'm Daniel, the friendly pitch professor, and tonight I'm preparing for hosting uh, an event tomorrow called Connecting the Dots. And um, right now I'm trying to connect the dots to, to how's it going to all work, and it should be a fun day tomorrow, which I'm going to do tomorrow most of the day. And once I'm done there, I'm going to go on to host another session at Austrian Startups, you know, a non-profit I co-founded with a couple other people. So, um, mm, intense day tomorrow, but kind of a day I like, and... Uh, yeah, let's see how that goes. So I'm on my way to host the event of the Austrian Trade Association called Connecting the Dots. I may have mentioned it last night. It should be quite interesting because we will be talking blockchain, GDPR and God knows what. So interesting and it's going to be held in this beautiful historic location in the middle of Austria. Uh, namely Vienna. It's early. Sorry about that. And uh, yeah, take a look. So and this is the location. If you see me all suited up like this, that means I'm in work mode to host stuff. Actually today in German again, bit of English, but uh, yeah, and then later on I have to show you this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful location. And I hope you like the new camera, by the way. Now, if you have an event in Austria, what you really got to have is chandeliers always got to have chandeliers that's a cool thing here look at this and i told you the location is mega behold so this is inside i'm turning so everyone's having lunch right now but wait and see this this is schönbrunn and this is how you do events in beautiful austria and the craziest thing is, I can actually hear horses in the background. Like that's, yeah, quite fitting for this place. Anyhow, it's been fun, first session, and uh, now back inside, uh, because we have a Buddhist monk who's gonna do some meditations or something. Uh, now that's a first for me on stage. Uh, let's see how that goes. I have spotted him already, by the way, because, well, he's a Buddhist monk. But and, uh, <laughs> let's see, and after that, we've got some blockchain. So Buddhist monk followed by blockchain, Quite a day, it's quite cool. And the sun's come out. So I gotta hurry up because I'm Irish and I'll have a sunburn in about eight seconds. So, yeah. So we just finished uh, hosting this really, really interesting, it was really cool. I'm just leaving the building. The funny thing is a horse and carriage just went by. Yes, that's Vienna and events in Vienna. So anyhow, learned a lot, um, spoke about GDPRs, blockchains, had a Buddhist monk who helped us talk a little bit about mindfulness, a topic I find quite exciting, really important because we always tend to train our bodies, but so seldom our minds just come down. So it was really cool. Speaking of coming down, not sure if I'll be doing that because I'm going on to the next session and that's um, I'm going to Austrian startups to host the famous Stammtische today. So that should be quite cool as well. Um, I hope the sound isn't too bad. Um, so I was just saying, I hope the sound isn't too bad. If it is, well, I have to learn. But anyhow, see ya and yeah, bye bye. That was, by the way, that's again the thing. Vlogging in public is such a funny thing to do and awkward in a way. And yes, I'm still getting used to it. Anyhow, let's move on to the Stammtisch. See you in a bit, bye bye. So on to part two, and now I shall step on stage of the Austrian startup Stammtisch, and the topic is how startups make the world a better place. So let's see, let's find out. It should be interesting. So boys and girls, it's time for Austrian startup Stammtisch number fifty-seven. That's the world we show. That was fun. I think a bit hot and sweaty. Had a bit of a talk about this whole impacty stuff. I liked it still. Avid discussions. Let's see, still have to think about how to summarize that. I don't know if the sound is good enough, but anyhow. And I find this discussion we had quite interesting. Um, I have to admit, I was curious to find out myself what we'll be on about because it's, it, it's not that black and white, is it? It's very grey, there's a lot of shades of... No, I didn't say that, did I? 
Right. Anyhow, so it's a lot of, not quite black, not quite white on this topic, which I find quite interesting. You kind of sum it up, it's, it's difficult to say, okay, the difference between like a company that doesn't impact or does is maybe initially down to, well, you just look at profit and growth and or something else, which I find interesting. But kind of the more we shift it, we know still, well, basically it's kind of about making the world a better place. But what do you need to do to make the world a better place? That's the challenge, isn't it? And kind of to listen, um, it's understanding that you don't just have ideas to make the world a better place, but you have to make ideas that are sustainable. You have to have ideas that kind of bring you money. So you have to find ideas to make the world a better place that fit into your business model. And we're gonna start, so like, say the world, make the world a better place is one thing, but actually making that work, earning money for the, while making it a better place is kind of, that's a double thing, and it's a double mission. And so it becomes really, really tricky. So you understood that's something aligning these two, that is interesting. We also understood that kind of going this down this way, making the world a better place, also means sometimes taking decisions that are not the easier ones. They're not the ones that are the comfortable ones, but they're ones that might be even more challenging. We all had a good laugh and saying, well, she's not taking the 55-year-old grannies, but she's taking the ones that probably wouldn't understand me right now, which is kind of good. But still, imagine the implications of that. Imagine the hardships of that. And you go like, why on earth would you do that? And that brings us down to the core thing we discussed today. Like every business, but even more here, it's about being intrinsically motivated, being understanding why are you doing this? Having your why and following it with all the consequences and making it work and along the lines trying to help others understand your why. That's a huge challenge. Um, we also said creating impact is about reaching people. And reaching people means to carry your idea as far as possible. That means also understanding to grow your business so far as you can even as far as being able to collaborate with some of the biggest companies in the world. Isn't that what we want, in a way? Isn't that what we say when we start off our first company? I want to reach as many people as possible. I want to change the world as many people as possible. What do I need to do for that? It's a long mission. It's an interesting mission. And we understood, love it or leave it. And I quite like that as well. Love it or leave it. So in that sense, if you say, like, mm, that's easy, looking forward to seeing you here sometime. You're saying that's interesting. Understand also what the implications of this are. Understand if you're in an early stage and say you want to start off a company, ask yourself if what you're trying to do is big enough and important enough that when you're sitting there and trying to take a hard decision, you're willing to take the harder one, the more difficult one. If you go for it because that's your mission, then you're on the right track. So have that as a sanity check. So like that, love it or leave it. In that sense, we also said, try and inspire others. And the easiest way is, hey, create an impact. Talk about it. Tell others about what you heard. Tell others about what they can do. And understand, sometimes you say, well, I wish someone would make the world a better place. But that's you.